Welcome to The High Bar, your weekly watering hole for light-hearted conversation with people who care about culture that matters. I'm Warren Etheridge, your host and barkeep. I promise never to cut anyone off while encouraging us all to think responsibly. Today, I'll be joined by ubiquitous muralist <laughs> Ryan Henry Ward as we raise the toast and raise the bar for public art. Public art is one of the sweetest, seemingly most innocuous offerings any city could give us, and yet it is also one of the most divisive. The only thing critics and politicians and lay people can agree on is really that it's public. Today we're going to speak to one of Seattle's most prominent uh, artists, the fabulous and whimsical Ryan Henry Ward. Welcome, Ryan. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Welcome to the high bar. <laughs> yeah. and, and you've already started your drinking. That's I good. did. <laughs> Very positive. Uh, can, can you give us an idea of what you consider public art to be? Uh, yeah, I just, um, I guess as far as public art is concerned, I think it's like just kind of a, um, a variety of people that are having a lot of fun um, out there in the world on a daily basis, um, putting what they feel is going to make the world better up in public spaces. And um, at least that's my experience with it and the people I hang out with. It's... Um, uh, and there's a, there's a huge variety of public art. There's like commissioned public art by the city, and there's um, uh, you know people with uh, kids with aerosol cans, and then there's um, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of somewhere in the middle of that, <laughs> you know, and um, it's kind of involved with both. Um, and uh, um, and I, I think art needs anarchy, and um, and I think that's kind of uh, and anarchy needs art, and I think the two are you know, really related, and when it comes to public art and street art, and uh, I think approaching it in a way that is kind of, uh, I, I just see kind of a collapse happening right now in the art world, um, the music world, the art world, like, you know, with the, um, the internet kind of giving us and um, tools to promote ourselves and to, you know, get our um, own stuff out there, and uh, um, I just, I see kind of this collapse happening with galleries and things like that and the people that are really rising up in the art world and the public art world right now are the people that are committed to, I think, I don't know, trying to cheer up the neighborhood and adding a little sense of humor out there and, um, you know. <laughs> well, well, I, I, I love this statement and I'm glad that you, you started put that in at the end there because you're saying words like anarchy and I look at your work which really is, is some of the cheeriest artwork imaginable yeah I mean, like they're 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 they, they bright vibrant colors uh very very fun silly imagery so that's not anarchy it's not like you're painting a, a picture of doom and gloom and no, down with the man no, no i'm it's like more up with like, fish yeah more like chomsky <laughs> anarchy you know like uh you know like uh, uh living your with your being and not needing rules about that you know and um in, in doing that, you're a positive person, and that makes the world better, you know. Well, that, so. now, now, you set out a goal, apparently, quite a while ago to do uh, 50 murals, to have 50 murals in, in the Seattle area. Yeah. And you, you, have, you have kicked the butt of your own goal, and you're, you're, totally. <laughs> you're at 70 or over 70 at this point. Uh, is that correct? I'm working on my 96th. <laughs> yeah. 96. And, and in another, two years. So, in two yeah. years. There's no stopping you. Yeah. But it is important that unlike some public art, which we'll get to later, the stuff that truly is commissioned by the city, yeah. you do some work that is commissioned and you do some that is yeah. non-commissioned, right? Yeah, totally. And how do you make those decisions? You just get up and say, I want to paint that wall. Um, yeah, it's kind of like this obsessive compulsive disorder that I have, <laughs> I think, that like, um, it might be Asperger's or something, but like, it's just wherever I go I just see the spaces you know that like really stick out and this is kind of where I feel like I work with like the graffiti community really well is they know the spots mm -hmm. you know they know the spots that like people look at and um, those areas that get really covered um, are usually the ones that are like I want to put a mural there you know and um, 
So I, I kind of feel like I'm dancing and communicating with like, you know, um, you know, a group of people that are out there vandalizing the world. But um, I, I, th I think it's like a, you know, a good positive communication because I, I feel like what I'm offering too is like, hey, there's this whole other thing that you guys can do too, you know, um, there's like, you know, I get kind of criticized for like doing too much work in town or whatever. And, um, but like the percentage of walls I haven't done is kind of mind blowing, you know, it's like I <laughs> drive down 15th <laughs> Avenue, I've only done five murals and there's like 500 walls, you know, it's like. <laughs> so you're really a slacker. I'm a slacker, <laughs> 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 totally. But that's an interesting point because there are people who are critical of your work, despite yeah. it seeming very, very fun. Yeah. There are people who are a little upset. Yeah, totally. And I have to imagine some of the graffiti people are saying, hey, that was my friggin' wall. Come on, man. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Give us a few, 96. <laughs> but there are actually other people who say, it's too much. There's too much Henry. We don't want any more Henry. Yeah. How do you feel about those folks? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just, you know, want to keep tickling them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever think, like, because you say that there, that there are 500 walls on, on, on 15th or yeah. something that you could be doing. If you, if capable, would you like to do all 500? Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so you can drive down, it's this big, like, it's a big Henry Gallery. Yeah, the whole city, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But does it, I mean, if you don't like my stuff, you gotta move. <laughs> well, or you're gonna be miserable. That's a, even though they're happy, you're yeah, gonna be miserable. Totally. So, but there are people who would I, would argue that it's sort of like Starbucks. Like you know, some people love Starbucks true. coffee, and we like that it's accessible. But we may not want one on every single corner. No, that's true. That you know, and I you know I understand the criticism, <laughs> and um, kind of what I'm doing now is I've kind of formed. Um, uh, kind of a collaborative team of muralists. I've got like five of my favorite artists in mm -hmm. Seattle, um, some really good street artists and um, good gallery artists. and um, So we're kind of like a six-person team. Um, uh, we call ourselves Predators of the Wild and we're <laughs> this summer we're doing like all these huge collaborative projects and um, so my real dream isn't just to see my stuff everywhere. Like I really want to see, I really want to see Seattle blow up, you know, as a street art city. It's like really far behind in a lot of cities as far as that goes. And I think Seattle was in the 80s, early 90s, maybe kind of a big art city, a place that people wanted to go to look at art. And now it's like, you don't go to Seattle to look at art. You go to San Francisco or you, you know, you go to LA or whatever, you go to New York. Or you go to Portland. Um, or you, go to Por you go to Portland, <laughs> yeah, or Vancouver. Um, but Seattle isn't really like in the the mindset of that's the thing to do, and it's really hurting a lot of artists in Seattle, you know. And there's a lot of good artists, and um, so I think like as like street artists, you know, and the community of us that there are, and aerosol artists, and you know, brush stroke artists, whatever, you know, collage artists. Like I just say like let's ah free for all, let's get this town. <laughs> looking cool you know right. and then we won't notice how bad the architecture is here. exactly <laughs> so that's yeah. a, that's a, the that's condo like the that. condos will just kind of like you know <laughs> blend into the background so, something <laughs> some, gray clouds <laughs> something when i first started noticing your pieces and uh, particularly in ballard and north seattle in general is that you know not only is the imagery sort of consistently uh, whimsical but there's also the idea that everyone is tagged big oval white black lettering henry and when I first started driving by those things, I thought, like, this is the most brilliant branding marketing campaign <laughs> ever. And thinking, it must be leading up to something. Like, soon I'm going to be turning on TV and there's going to be the Henry show or yeah, something. Yeah, we're going to be drinking the Henry <laughs> Cola until we're silly in the head. But that's not it. No. Uh, no but you do put, your name is prominent. It is. And, yeah. and, and is that, is that uh, narcissism or, or just market sense? Um, probably narcissism. <laughs> <laughs> then why your middle name? <laughs> why not your full name? <sighs> Trouble with the authorities? Um, there's a few <laughs> things on the burner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like, I kind of come from that tradition, you know, like, um, I've been a street artist doing illegal stuff. Um, you know, I have like a 10 year history of doing stuff and mm -hmm. just the whole tradition is like, you know, you do your name big, you know, and uh, be proud of it. And um, and why 
Henry instead of Ryan Ward. Um, Ryan Ward's like one of the most common names in the world. <laughs> it's like, who did it? Well, it could have been any of these guys, you know? There's like 20 but, of us in the phone book. Or but who's ever heard of Henry? But, right. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of logic is that? <laughs> Nobody knows a Henry. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you put the name out there, you got the art out there. Yeah. Uh, but now you are getting commissioned. At first you were doing it free and sort of guerrilla yeah. style. Yeah. Not even free, frankly. Yeah. Just, you were just doing it. But yeah. now people want your work. Yeah, yeah. And how how do you get paid for that? How do you, how do you how, is it a lucrative career? Um, <laughs> well, it is, but I just don't seem like I ever have any money in my pocket. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I spend those, it faster than I make it. It's all know? that pizza and mac and cheese. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you get schools and businesses to to pay you now for the yeah. Work? I've done like a lot of grade schools and businesses, and um, I I still do murals for free um, sometimes and. Um, uh, I'm not really in it for the money. I never really have been. It's not really like what I need, you know, that much to be a happy person. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I've kind of figured out how to live without it pretty well, and uh, so it's not like my motivation. But um, uh, you know, it's and it and it really depends on who I'm painting for and what I feel like they. You know, I want I want everybody to be happy with the experience. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, if someone wants something of mine and they, you know, like. I can relate with a hundred bucks being a lot of money, you right. know, and um, it's like, would I spend a hundred dollars on a piece of art, you know, like very rarely, you right. know, and um, so why would I price my stuff like thousands? Um, but, um, you know, some people feel better about spending more money, so I don't... <laughs> so you let them? I'm not fighting <laughs> it, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so good of you. Yeah, yeah, it's like... But th it's an important distinction because for some people, it it's not as if you're just putting these things up willy-nilly. Now a lot of times that businesses are requesting it or schools have requested it, yeah. as you say. So that, that takes care of one part of the argument because it's their private property that they can do with whatever they like. Right. But what do you hope the, the, the public gets out of this? What, I mean, um, You know, I didn't really approach it thinking about that too mm -hmm. much. Um, but I feel like um, I've been doing it for a couple of years now, and when I go out and paint a mural, there's like um, a hundred people walk by me and give me comments on the experience they're having with my art. And every day in my inbox, I get emails, and um, like I feel like it's having an extremely positive effect on people's lives. Um, like I just painted this big fish mural over on Nickerson Street and when I was done with it I pulled around the block and kind of drove the direction where everybody was looking at it and so I got to like see everybody's face expressions while they were looking at this thing I just painted and everybody was smiling I was like oh my god that is <laughs> awesome you know like that like that effect is really cool you know and like um, I think my favorite thing is like you know kids really love my stuff and um, I just feel like it's making people a little bit happier, you know. It's uh, at least encouraging it, you know. So it's just the only the occasional critic in a smoking jacket with a pipe walking by who goes like, "Oh, <laughs> damn that Henry!" <laughs> totally. It seems pretty. <laughs> damn him with his life-affirming <laughs> art. <laughs> it seems occasional, but when it happens, I love it. You know. You love that? <laughs> oh yeah, like I, it really lights my fire, man. I just like I was just in City Arts magazine, and there was like a cartoon about me, like making fun of me and criticizing my work and I was just like saw it and was like oh, awesome you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the point <laughs> you know so that is the point yeah is to get a cartoon about you or to, to have people uh, just to shake things up a little just bit just to shake things up a little bit that yeah. is the anarchy thing yeah